my heart was pounding. <laughs> it was a lot of adrenaline uh, when you pull up and you see a house on fire and people scattering. And uh, when, you, when you see that, I think the adrenaline kicks in and you don't really have time to, to think about what, what the dangers are. You just want to help. You want to help as much as you can. Essentially, I was in a primary response unit, so in uniform, answering radio calls uh, back in 2020 of May, and I received a radio call for a fire in a, in a house. Uh, fortunate for, for, I guess, everyone in the situation, I was just around the corner, I was there within seconds. Um, once I got there, there were neighbors running everywhere, screaming that people were trapped in the back. So I ran to the back of the, the yard to see what was going on, if I could help. And uh, like everyone was saying, there was two people up on the second floor deck, and one was elderly and mobile, so I just I yelled out to adjacent and behind the rear neighbors if anyone had a ladder. So luckily, uh, somebody had a ladder. I was able to put the ladder up and and help these uh, these gentlemen down from the deck and get them to uh, safety and then evacuate the houses on either side of the house. You could say it's a little emotional. It's it's a huge honor um, to receive the police officer of the year, uh, but I would be remiss if I if I didn't say that. I, I've been on the job for 16 plus years and over those those years and even in, in the year that's gone past there's been numerous thousands of officers that have that have conducted heroic acts on a daily basis uh, in this city. 